4.30 in the afternoon, and this may be a start of another adventure. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. The engine's going, and we're ready for off. Well, very nearly. I'm going to shout loud because the engine's running, and we're in Blackwater Sound, where, would you believe, the dolphins come feeding as we head across to the Everglades Park. Who knows what we're going to see? Keep our fingers crossed. Don't the captain's in charge. So welcome to the Florida Keys Bayside as we head that away. Hi, Dom. Hello, mate. You're still the board, are you? Yeah. Hi, Skipper. Hi, hi, Captain. Well, we're now keeping our eyes open, looking for Dolphin. Who knows? We may be lucky. Dominic's told us they come feeding here, and they're often attracted by the noise of this boat. I know when I was here a few years ago on a trimaran, some came swimming up alongside us. But it's all luck. We're now about three miles offshore from the Keys themselves. And as we turn around with the camera, we can see the other side of Blackwater Sound. But so far, no dolphins. Come in dolphins, please. We're waiting for you. Well, we've not found any dolphin yet, but where are we approaching now, Dom? Well, we're approaching the other side of Blackwater Sound, and as we come through this little creek here, which is called the Boggies, on the other side is God's Country and Everglades National Park. And there's alligators and things, are they? It's a crocodile preservation oh. area, Dave. Watch <laughs> out when you put your toes in the water, mate. Now I know why you brought me here. I won't yeah. be coming back. <laughs> a little gator bait. slowly drifting away from Blackwater Sound, now keeping everything quiet in the hope that dolphin or the birds will come out. Not an ideal camera for shooting wildlife, but it gives you an idea of the peace and tranquility once you come the other side of Blackwater Sound, away from the Florida Keys themselves, Bayside. A beautiful view of the sunset. I don't know whether we'll be out long enough to see the full sunset, will we, Don? Yes, we will. Oh, we will? OK, well, we'll come back to this view again. But Dominic's just telling me that if the boat sinks, I needn't worry, because the water's only three foot deep here. So the idea is you stand on top of the boat and yell, and somebody will come along. Thank you, Dom. Of course, Dom's got the all-important icebox here which can, like drink, contains some refreshment whilst Dom tells the wife that um, Champagne. We're, we're busy. I'm saying nothing. No, I'm, I'm here just to have a look at the sunset, oh, Dom. Here's your tonic water. Thank you very much. You're welcome. God bless. We're off. And I'm not allowed to tell you where we're going because the roseate spoonbill is an endangered species, there's only 200 breeding pair, and there's a secret location known only to the local people where the roseate spoonbill are breeding. And we're hoping at this time of the afternoon, well, late, early evening, we're going to be able to find some of them and take photographs of them. We're not allowed to get near them, but hopefully we'll be able to see some of the roseate spoonbill in their habitat. This little island we're approaching has frigate birds flying above it and I'm being told that the sign of the frigate birds flying is an indication that we might find some of the roseate spoonbill. So fingers crossed. We can now see all the frigate birds hovering over the island. Now there's something sitting on the that branch there. What's that? What are those there? Those frigate birds. Ah, those are frigates. 
those are the female frigates but hopefully just fly there coming towards us Say the juvenile right here. So we've got plenty of frigate. Oh, what's this one here? That's a are rosé spoonbills obviously going to the other side of the island whether we'll get oh they're settling down there there's one flying there that's one there i don't know if you could see the pink color of them a bird watcher's paradise here there's a little snowy egret As we come round the corner, I'm told we should disturb probably very quietly a whole flock of birds. We'll find out. Now the frigates are flying high, but through the trees there, we can see, I've just zoomed in. I don't know if it'll come into focus. There we go, slightly into focus. All the spoonbill are all snuggled in that little oasis there. I hope you can see them all right on the camera. We're going to go round the island and see if we can get a little bit closer without disturbing them. And they may just take flight. In which case we might be very lucky and get a good shot at them. slowly round again. Everything's very quiet at the moment. It's a bit like a camouflage competition. Have a look at the trees and see how many birds you can spot. I've spotted about five at the moment. There's a head of one just there. And you can see them all starting to take flight. Oh, what's that one? in the centre of the picture there. And there, there, if we zoom in, we've got a spoonbill. It's still staying with us. It's thinking about taking off. We're being very quiet. Is he going to take off for us? Look at the colour of it there, that beautiful pink colour. It's looking. Ah, there we go, it's taking off. 
Well, that was a lovely close up. He's settled there at the top of that tree. And as the spoonbill fly away, we drift away from the island. Unfortunately, we've not seen the dolphin yet. It's going to be a bit of a cloudy sunset, but we've had a wonderful time having a look at the birds on this secretly located island. Well, it looks as though we're going to have an interesting sunset, if not a clear sunset, because the sun is trapped behind those clouds, but it's giving a beautiful effect. And we're looking west towards Marco. What other cities, Dom? Everglades City, Flamingo. Everglades City, Flamingo, and there's nothing between here for how many miles? For 150. 150 miles we're looking across now. So for a very slow and peaceful, tranquil arrival back to Key Largo, thank you for watching Eager Vision.